YouTubers, how are you? This is Bunny Bone. I have not made a video in a long time. So I'm just coming to you. I'm making a video. And this time it's not about sister locks. This time it's actually about face and about um, face products and things that have been going on with my face. And I am recently going through a lot of changes with my face and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm sure there are thousands of other videos out there uh, and I know that I'm not the only person who has had this particular issue so I'm sure there are like countless other videos but I still wanted to share my experience anyway. And what had been going on with me was for whatever reason um, maybe like the last six to eight months or so, my face had really been increasingly breaking out. I am in my mid thirties and I still have acne scars on my face from a long time ago. And a lot of people would say, well, you know, you need to drink more water, drink more water. I drink a lot of water. I grew up with a grandmother who kept a water bottle by her bedside. So it's in me to drink water. Sometimes I can drink upwards of almost 200 ounces of water a day. So it's not even <clears throat> the water consumption if I'm drinking enough or not. I know I'm drinking enough. But like right around my jaw line and my chin, um, I had just like kept breaking out, kept breaking out. And it, as you can see, I have a lot of scars right there. Some there. Not so many on my forehead. I have some, but not as many. So what I did was maybe about five months ago, somebody gifted me an Ambi set because they had the Ambi product. And they didn't really like it. So they gifted it to me. And at first, um, it was the Ambi um, Fading Cream. The Ambi Fading Cream. And I don't even have the other tubes anymore, but it was the Ambi Fading Cream. And it was the Ambi Face Scrub. And as well, it was the Ambi Complexion Bar. This is what she gave me and originally at first it was doing really good I was like oh my god I was getting all excited and it seemed like the blemishes and stuff on my face were going away and then I think I went maybe like a month without using it for whatever reason I don't know why but I stopped using it well then I picked it back up again I started using it again well this time what I did I was just using just the ambi bar and just the I bought another tube of this. As you can see, it's almost gone. But when I bought this tube and I would put it on my face, I would notice how oily my face was. And it was freaking me out. And it was causing me to break out even more. But see, that's for normal skin. See that? For the normal skin. So I don't know if maybe I should have got the kind for oily skin. I don't know. But maybe about. Three weeks ago, I had something told me something is not right. And I know I'm crazy. Didn't think about it. My face was super tight. It was like really, really tight. My uneducated self thinking that, okay, if your face is really tight like that, it must mean it's really doing the job. No, super drying my face out like crazy. So what I did was I started using um, the Equate blemish with the see it has the acne medicine in it see okay yeah so I started using this and I was using this and it, I was using it every day and it was really exfoliating my skin really well my skin felt really soft and fresh and everything and I would also still use the fade cream the fade cream it was really working it was really really working but it was agitating me that my face was so oily and because my face was so oily I kept breaking out so recently I stopped using this and as if you know any if anybody knows me I'm not big on always getting um name brand products 
I'll get generic, same thing. So I started using the benzoyl, the benzoyl um, acne cream. Sorry, I can't make it focus in. But this is the one that has 10% 10, 10 um, benzoyl peroxide in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. Well, I just got this last week. <clears throat> Start using it on my face. Ironically enough, I had two pimples right there the night I started using it. Put it on my face before I went to bed. Woke up in the morning. Those pimples were crusty. They were gone. I was all excited. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did was I washed my face with my Ambi. Put this on my face. Went to bed. Put it all over my face. And I went to bed. Woke up the next morning. My face, I kid you not, was black. It was like blotchy black. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on with my face? So I knew I couldn't use this anymore because it tells you not to use the acne with the acid stuff while you're using the benzoyl. So then I was kind of freaked out. So I went and got some Noxzema. Got some good old Noxzema. Put that on my face. And I bought one of those exfoliating pads and was rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Burned. So I was like, oh, you know, did another night of this. Got up the next morning, my face was worse. As you can see now, like if I do this, see all that around there and all of that, my face is benzoyl burned. Yeah, not sunburned, benzoyl burned. So I did some research again to figure out how to get rid of this. And in the research, I found out that if your if my skin gets what they call the benzoyl burn, as long as it's not red or swollen, then that's a good thing. It just means that your face is just overly dried out and you're actually not allergic to the product. And they said that your skin is going to start peeling off. And actually, my skin is beginning to peel off. I don't know if you can tell or not, but see, my skin is actually beginning to peel a little bit. So what they also said, what you need to do is get a good <clears throat> moisturizing face soap and conditioner. And they suggested Cetaphil. So I have the Cetaphil cleanser and I have the Cetaphil lotion. And I'm going to be using these. And luckily enough, these are not cheap. I'm a couponer, and luckily enough, I had a coupon. And this came in the gift set with the cleansing cloths. And it came in a gift set that I had got from Walmart. And the gift set was $13, and I had a $2 off coupon. So I got both of these plus these for 11 bucks. That's really, really good because these two by themselves, as if I had bought these separately, this, this size, which is the eight ounce, this was like seven or eight. And then the lotion, which is also the eight ounce, this was like 12. So this right here would have just been 20. I don't even know how much these were. So I got like a really good deal. So I'm going to do, and I also got this. It's, you know. Generic for St. Ives, the peach. It doesn't have anything in it. There's no medicine in it. It's just a good scrub. So, I'm, you know, to help trying to get that off of my face. So I'm going to use this tonight. And then after I use my scrub, I'm going to use my soap. And after I use my soap, I'm going to use my lotion. I will not be using this for a while. I will not be using this for a while. I will not be using this for a while. Will not be using this for a while. Won't be using this at all. So I'm actually going to throw this away. And that's it. So tonight I'm going to start and take another look at my face. And I'm going to wash my face and I'll be right back. Hey YouTubers, this is Bunny Bone. I'm back. Okay, so I just got finished doing the apricot scrub. And I did the Cetaphil face wash. And now I'm just patting my face dry. Because I know in a lot of the 
skin research that I've been doing now since I've had this benzoyl burn. Um, I've read a lot that you should not rub your face dry. You should just kind of like lightly pat it dry. And I will say this, my already, my face feels so much better in, look, like, I don't even really see that, um, that leather type skin already. I really think that face scrub had a lot to do with that and even with the soap my face is um it's still dry yeah it's not gonna you're not gonna get like instantaneous all slick skin because I know it's gonna be some layers of dry skin that have to come off but I will say this that it feels a whole lot better right now because my face was dry and it was my face was like almost hurting almost because it was it was that dry it was it was like hurting when I did the scrub I did not scrub hard I just did very small circular soft motions so I'm just gonna put the lotion on now I know you don't need a lot so that's about all I'm gonna use and see how far that'll get me versus my first time using it put that on real good Make sure it don't get on your eye, your eyelids, because you know that's the most sensitive part of your face. I don't want to get anything stuck in that nose ring hole. My nose ring is fairly new. It's only about two months old. Yeah, I think I'm going to need just a little bit more. Not much more. It's about that much. So, get that, because this was like the most effective area right in there was the driest and right here were the driest areas after that benzoil 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 whatever you call it that burning stuff so there that is my face does feel better already a little bit and this would be like the first time i've ever really used a lotion on my face because my my skin is so crazy so i just wanted to let you know that's what i did and i'm going to keep you guys updated and let you know how it goes so again let's look see how that goes so i'm hoping that it really works really good for me and my skin thank you guys i'll see you later